What's up, guys? Playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna play this whole game on stream. husband how goes it good i should get it finished today where on earth is henry i need him to run some errands he was still sleeping when i went out at this hour blue-blooded idler well it looks like he was out all evening drinking like a lord mm. <laughs> go and get the lazy bones up then Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up, or I'll come get you up. Look Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> His mom don't like him sword fighting. There ain't nothing wrong with sword fighting. You got a sword fight back in them times. <laughs> then we're going to play this full game. Or not all at once, but... A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. What so I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, how? 
You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he gonna do? I'm doing nothing wrong, I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. <laughs> You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always has his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. We got some breakfast. It's all in here. Take all the food. What is this? Yeah, give me all the apples. Storeroom. Compass will tell you where to go in the quest. You will push it and just hit the active one. What's up, dude? At least, At least you're all. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzi, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not, Not to mention his debt from before. Go and no tell him to pay off, at least for the axe and hammer, and then, then use the money to buy the charcoal. Couldn't it? Not drunker. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. 
Sure will be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain of the castle has the cross guard for Sir Isaac's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Yeah. I'll get some real. Go up here, get the cross guard. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard on pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. And did I ever botch anything? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. I certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Some money from. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe in for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear on. You need the trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Alright, so that is the power of persuasion as you go and talk to people. Blah, 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 blah. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Goodbye. Jab, kick, walk, unlock. All right. Oh, you cheater. Wanna kick people? Dude. 
Beating wasn't enough for you, but you still own my father. You'll get nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. One beating wasn't enough for you, but you... And show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm awful at the fighting on this game. It's kind of weird. You have to uh, do stuff in a weird way. Ooh, I'm trespassing. Dude, your house sucks. What you got in here, man? Anything good? Where's my nails? A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Sure, let me beat this dude up again. I want to beat him up. Beating, but using you'll get nothing. I'm telling you. Oh, come on. Good health to you. Good health, he's like screwed up. Let's talk about the price. Alright. Who works for Hag 
useful and works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. So the original price, your money, last off, accepted, accepted by the trader, okay. Something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. <laughs> no, look at him, he's all bloody. Say about it. No mother's happy when her son starts to take an interest in sources. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. I beat up this mom, dude. a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All ready. Everything for work and home. That'll be quite a lot. That's the lot. Thank you, and come by any time. With a goofy looking hat. It's supposed to be medieval times now, Vietnam. Oh yeah, I used to play Final Fantasy all the time. Winter onion soup for the spring. Asparagus for taste and brew for what Used to play Final Fantasy 13, I think it was. Ooh, I'm at profit. There we go. No? <laughs> Ain't nobody there. I didn't know somebody was home. Trying to look in barrels because that's what I used to like Skyrim and Oblivion. Oh, don't tell me. Insulting, um, and my uh, manager. Probably ain't gonna be a lot of people right now because it's like two o'clock in the morning here. So. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts traitors. Now even the Pope is with you, Henry. How many you Hello. What's going on here? Deutsche Spaten shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Some has to bring order and reunite the empire. I just started screaming on Twitch again. 
Who do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the right way, Pope? The one in Rome or the one in Rome? Do not blaspheme, Alex. Uh, it's true, though. Winston is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzel is Winston commander in chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped it like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and don't forget about Kutenberg. Where Germans like you kiss Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Two of them after you. you should give me a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge parliament You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Though if you had more than you know, it's not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? I'm going to throw some turds at somebody's house. All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem, we'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done faster in Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken elf. All right, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. All right, let's go. Let's go throw some turds at this dude's house. What do you want, lad? <laughs> He's like all covered in blood. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! Fool. Next thing he'll start on about the Popes. He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. For king and country! <laughs> my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillar. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund. 
We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! I'll take those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Spizjak? Hanging out with this proxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Smoke him in the with a turd. Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Get better at the combat. It's a little weird because you have to actually like aim. Come on, lads. Help me get that money from that dude. There's lock chest I need to get into. Please. It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him. I'm going to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin of my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you can get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. Baskets for good and torches for the night. I had it all. Live in cool. fabric. Dive in flame. Come on, to the other dudes. Save you, Henry. Well, we sorted that joint out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm wiping that fucker hand and snitch on us. Well, eh? Uh, then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can I do to us with throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes this much. I need a hand with Kunesh. Trump, you helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Yeah.
All right, dude. Kanesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a risk to you or call a cat That was weird. Up and off. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? All right. Cool. Where's your stuff? Too, man. That's what you get. All right, blacksmiths, boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Yeah, we'll see about that, dude. Alright, we're gonna go up here. Do some sword fighting. So, probably. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. It's like star thing. That's how you do it. Good. Good. Fine. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Again. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off about a sweat. But if you change your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. All right. Enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Oh, I'll be up for a while. Probably at least another like, 12 hours. We can 
try haggling with this guy again. Check that chest. See if there's any money in it. Oh, no, 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 Need one more. There we go. Say Henry. Henry, I'm glad you did. Talk to you. If it's Jack all you want, talk to my hired hand. I've no time now. To the spare for me. Where does girlfriend go? God save my lovely. 
You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale with father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Ah, see the bar went. Thanks. It's a me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, uh, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Money. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Strong linen, delicate velvet, beautiful and functional. Rooms for your house. Rakes and hundreds of fields. God, what else do you, need? you look terrible. Did someone attack you? That's pretty cool. You can actually repair stuff. Like clothing and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good, Good job. job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sassel do for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? It's a cool cross guard. Look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the chart off? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way. Someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. 
And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. That's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> Here are those nails you wanted. Henry, what Thanks. are you waiting for? Bring so, those how's nails. Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. Henry, I'll be on my way. That song is nails. truly beautiful. Fine, last. Crazy dude. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. What a crazy guy. <laughs> we 
did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone, sir. You haven't lost your skill, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isfan. Have a safe journey to Sapa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green and the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> Then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? That's a huge army. Mr. Clean. I say, say right now. now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. You me.
closing! Move it, people! Come on, Everybody come on! Inside. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the gate! Get running, people! Come on! Why mess with me? Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gate! Dang. God damn it, my sword. Oh no! Oh no! Get on the horse, man! No! Get on the horse! Yeah! Run away! Oh! He bled to death.
Let's see if I can do a little bit better. It's been a while since I played this game, so. Takes a minute. Run away, dude. What are you doing? Weird because they just like warp to you. Get on the horse, dude. Ah. You won't even get on the horse. Jeez. A useless dude. <laughs> Jeez. Didn't even get the option to jump on the horse. What the f Dude, get on the horse, man. <laughs> what was all of that? Jeez. ways to die. 
doing one simple mission. There we go. Come on, horsey. That was weird. They just kept like warping them dudes to me like instantly. Shoot me leg. Left. Run, people, run. Run, run, run for it. This game ain't loading right for some reason. people crazy Germans Run for it. Oh, wherever they are Help! 
He's even got a little mustache for his beard. Oh, this helmet thing. That's crazy. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalpels. They burned into the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned into the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you said. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Good your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Dang. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idle, there's nothing better to do. Get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? I heard you, boy. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the ensigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So I'll be right back. I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were tons of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke Be right back. Give me one minute. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. People like attacked the village. You've done well, man. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Yeah, they burnt his village down. Sorrow is easier to Killed his mom and dad. Killed his girlfriend. Uh, I heard about your father. They say he was oh well, I wouldn't mind if I three actually. making that sword and then all of a sudden some messenger came up. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. Lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man? Uh, well, I appreciate that. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you? Young master. Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. When you're done, you can go and rest the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. Yeah. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, madam. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely Jesus. need some new clothes. I could really do with some sleep. His clothes are all bloody from that fight. Kanesh. Oh, 
this for a bit. We saved that girl, uh, Teresa. Some of them dudes be pretty decent on that shit. We stole that horse and threw it to this place. And then he started chasing us. Yes. yes. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't like you, boy. Did I? My lady. Um. No, 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 not at all. But what yeah, brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, thank you. You really should have. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. This game kind of reminds me of uh, Skyrim and Fable. A terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. You might be right, Captain. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on to Mary's. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a good, I didn't mind. My girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radford. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Sigismund's cavalry was composed of Cubans. They're diabolical barbarians from the East, with no regard for the rules of warfare. Bloodthirsty cutthroats. The very fact Sigismund has them with him shows what a tyrant he is. Well, I don't know. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter at the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund and butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, knights in full armor, saw father and charged at him. Cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. 
I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn me. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was too easy for me when she'd been caught by a gang of Cuban savages who planned to violate her. I had Saratic sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God, I Barbarian. Why you let such things happen? You poor boy. Of course. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Also, in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Townburg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Trebislovitz, and killed many of our men. Even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king, and sought help from Divish's friends, but... All to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you said. Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvard punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young. Beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady.
<laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. Sounds like she wants a booty call. Wake, Wake up. up. You, you don't, don't want, want to miss, to miss this. this. Is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scalas. Else you know what's happening? Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Scullets, and now he's come to take Talmud. the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, you understand? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud with the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scouts. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his sentence, Scarlet, to find Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Ratzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did this party say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get there, won't we? Right, we will. Good luck to you. Under their noses. But 
Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigmund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Dibbish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skellix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? Donkey. Sir, quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quiet down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel or Baldic. I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hamish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battle, my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow. Splendid! Don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Farewell. Good health to you. What do you think about the price of the scallops? I'd say Sir Ratzik is a fine boy. He made the most of the situation and saved his subjects. You don't see that very much. He was lucky about this, though. But that's just it. That's pretty good. That's like a movie. Like an interactive movie. Range. There's not many capable of thinking so fast. Maybe he's got to sit and talk to all the guards. What's up, man? Where you running to? Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's going I will. Thank you, sir. What do you think about our surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were safe, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure, he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to get ready for it. Maybe he'll leave the house, though, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. It's gonna go like a Braveheart style feel to it. Scarlet's is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for taking. Two birds with one stone. So he might be satisfied and leave us alone. 
Nothing mm -hmm. will see soon enough, mm -hmm. one way or the other. Mm -hmm. By the way, Henry. It is Henry. I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. Good luck to you. Good day to you. What do you need? What do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh shit. Sorry. And you know Sir Radzi Kobola? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why'd you ask? He must be a fine lord. Take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Ah. I could tell you some stories. About Sir Divish. Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make the skin crawl. You see? Good luck to you. Oh, you don't have any lock picks, that's well great. Oh, they got the hit, it's worth taking. Oh, you didn't see nothing, man. I wasn't trying to steal your stuff. Lock picking in this game is quite hard. No, dude. 
absolutely nothing. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. The Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen.
My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. stopping point. Alright guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the follow button. We'll continue playing this at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. We'll probably play this for a long, long time after that, so... We'll be doing this game in the Farm Simulator on stream this month. We'll do Snow Runner. It's another game I haven't played yet. This one is the Royal Edition, so it's with all the DLC and everything. <laughs> 